welcome back my dear champions and assalamu alaikum and welcome back after a long time after internet giving us the flashes my internet was completely gone right i used to work with idea but yeah as you know idea has been taken over by vodafone and the upload speed is completely done right uh, and one more thing that uh, we basically have to understand uh, that since we have two or three more lectures, maybe two only, not three, left, I wish you all the best. Do practice all the previous things, right? Uh, so before we get started with the uh, responsive web application design, right? So today's class is all going to be about Canvas. Uh, let me first go and see the TIRM, right? Because I have to see what is in the TIRM. Or let's first do it and then see the TIRM, right? So I'll just delete each and everything before we get started. I know you guys missed me. I missed you too, right? Okay, let's get deleted. Let's delete everything and let's keep a blank page so that we have a few things left of canvas, I think, if I'm not wrong. All right, uh, so we will get started with canvas. All right, and you know the things that uh, are left of canvas in HTML5. Uh, and the first thing uh, that we are going to start with is uh, drawing a rectangle and then drawing a circle. Uh, yeah, I still remember there are things which are left and which are left unsaid or untrained. So let's continue. Get started with the canvas. So we know that we have to draw a canvas. So I'll say C A N canvas and I'll give it an ID just to call in JavaScript my C-A-N-V-A-S. I'll say my canvas is my canvas. Uh, let's give it a width maybe 700 pixels and height maybe 300 pixels and I can go with inline styling. Inline styling is not good once we are developing a full-fledged website. Your battery is discharging here thank you right and style is going to be um, I'll have to apply style so I'll say border b o r d e r border one pixels I always use solid and black imagine we're designing a canvas and we're not designing a div or a section this time right few things Okay, now this is the canvas where we will start drawing, right? Or you can even use one more style here. You can say margin, automatic. So take it in the center, maybe. No, we haven't. We haven't uh, designed the wrapper div yet. So let's start using it. Okay, and let's go to the JavaScript. We know that we have to handle everything in JavaScript, as long as canvas is concerned. Okay, I can simply say var c, which is canvas, is equal to document dot get element by id and the id is my canvas terminate it and go to the next line i can say var ctx which is the context i uh, you know if you go to the previous class we get the context of the we always get the context of the canvas so i'll say while ctx is equal to c dot get context to deal with right context can either be 2d or it can be so we're dealing with 2d only as long as the canvas is concerned which kind of context do you want to draw so i can say i want to draw uh or not draw i can say ctx dot rect a rectangle and it takes x axis y axis width and height i repeat x axis is the first i'll say x axis 30 y axis 40 all right uh, so this is y axis all right and this is x axis all right, the width is i-axis and the height is uh, y-axis. And here I have to give width 120 and height 120. So let's draw this. Right, even by writing the contest, you're not going to draw the canvas, you know that, right? Unless you take CTX dot stroke. Now you have to stroke. And now after stroking, you will see a rectangle being drawn, right? And uh, we have few more things that I would like to show you. CTX dot stroke rect. After that, I'll say fill 
rect what color do you want to fill again we have to give x x is y x is width and height so i can say on x x is 460 and y axis is going to be 40 width is going to be 120 and height is going to be 120 height and width is all what we have already given so let's fill the rectangle right here and i can clearly see this and this right here right uh, so the second thing that i have to apply is clear a rect so i'll show you how it does so i'll say cle so i can say clear rect again i'll apply x axis i will apply y axis i will apply the width and i will apply the height all right so all the properties you will come to know now you can clear see you're clearing uh, on 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 <coughs> on the rectangle or we can say after stroking it you can stroke it later as well right or you can stroke it two times if you want to stroke it again right you can take ctl dot stroke after ctl dot rect right so you can do this for example we are stroking right and we are designing a rectangle we didn't stroke it so you can say cts dot stroke you can use double stroke right here and you can clearly see right you are stroking this as well and you are stroking this as well so they, basically what you are doing you have taken the context of 2d which is a rectangular and now you are designing two first stroke you can clearly see and the second stroke you can clearly see if i just delete this right this is the rectangular you're filling it up and once i say clear once i say clear whatever you have to clear in the rectangular you can see i have cleared 500 uh, right on the x axis 60 on the y axis i can say i want to clear 1000 on the x axis so you can clearly see it has gone somewhere in the canvas you have to be exactly canvas near the canvas right you have to hold to the position of canvas right and the position of canvas if it is 460 you can at least go to 460 on the radius now you can see we started from 460 you can go to 560 right 560 is from this side you can go in between you can say 500 and you are going to come in the center so this is clear you are clearing what this what has already been stroked all right so this is how you can clear now the second thing is can we draw a line all right uh, so i can yes we can even draw a line so let's go to canvas and say 300 and 300 let's draw a line <laughs> so this is my simple canvas right here so what i can do i can say uh ctx now how to draw a line so now we have to use begin path where do you want to start uh, writing your or where do you want to start drawing your line right so i have to say context which is the context of uh, the canvas so i can say ctx dot move to begin and then move to 40 from the top and 40 from the i axis and 40 from y axis so this is your y axis and this is your x axis right so you have moved to 40 40 right and then you can say i want to draw at the time wherever i have moved i want to draw a line exactly there i want to draw a line to and a line to takes x axis and y axis let's say i want to draw 240 to 40 x axis and y axis again so we got to deal with x axis and y. okay we haven't stroked it yet right so we can say ctx dot stroke so now this is how you can draw a simple line i guess you have drawn a line so if i say from 200 to 40 then you can clearly see right you are just going from this side right so long 230 clearly you can say 290 clearly from the begin path what is the begin path 40 so you can even say 20 is the begin path you go here now this is how you draw line on the canvas right so moving back i have to show you everything right so how do you make a circle in the canvas right uh, so i'll again draw a circle and this time i will say ctx dot begin path and then i will say arc so ctx dot arc i have to use arc 
and it takes x axis y axis radius start angle and angle and anti clockwise or clockwise all right so the first thing that it takes is x axis let's give 80 and y axis let's give 90 all right and the third thing it takes a radius what is the radius of the circle i'll say 50 is the radius of the circle what is the start angle start from zero i don't want anything all right and what is the end angle so i'll say pi pi is mm, 3.14 or i can use math i have a library here so i have this library math dot pi so i can use the library right and i can say into two right and anti-clockwise is false you can keep anti-clockwise as true or you can keep anti-clockwise as false so i can say ctx dot close path so i have closed the path and i can say ctx right so this is right here so i have to fill first and do i say close path first or not yeah i have to fill the style i can say ctx dot fill style here you have to use fill style fill style means what is the color of the circle so i can say blue or i can say green i can say red right and then fill it up i can say ctx dot fill so we don't use a stroke here in circle because we have used to fill the we have to use you can stroke it as well or you can fill it as well but we still we are not getting mm, ctx dot fill is basically a function right so we'll use ctx dot fill and now you can see that i have drawn a blue so instead of fill if i use stroke right what if i use stroke ctx dot stroke so now you're stroking a tricycle right here so stroke is not going to fill you can either say stroke or you can say fill fill is going to fill with blue color and stroke is going to give you the border right stroke is going to give you the border of the circle so this is right and the first thing uh, and the most important thing that we are going to learn today in canvas is uh, basically you know, the draw image method of the canvas so this is the most important thing right the draw image method is used to draw an image or a video on the canvas and to define the draw method you can use draw method and image and then you can use x axis and y axis right or you can use width and height oh let me show you all how do you draw this right mm, okay uh, okay now we have this canvas uh, right here and we can use this as well to draw the canvas okay okay let's get it so canvas is all right so canvas is 700 let's say 900 pixels i'll make the canvas big all right and i'll just delete this context is already there all right or we can say make a function so let's make a function all right uh, so i'll call this function as set image all right how do you draw image using the canvas and here I will use this so I have to call now right so now what we have to do is call the function set image right I'll tell you how do you call the function set image right. let's declare a new image so I'll say var img I'm declaring a variable img which is going to have the new instance of image right so I can say img dot src. Where is the image? So I'll say img dot src is equal to we have the image somewhere. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Login lock dot png maybe. So I'll say login log g dot dot p n uh, g so so i can say i m g right i m g dot on load i can use this option i m g dot src and then i can use um, i m g dot on load whenever you load the function whenever you load the image you are going to call 
a function dynamically right here and this function is going to do cdx dot draw image right so the image is img and it takes parameters like a draw image so i'll have to see what parameters does it take so i'll say ctx which is the context of the image canvas so it can say ctx dot draw so it does not have this function so i'll say img draw image and it supports x axes y axes right so let's give x axes and y axes the first thing is image that is this image source x axes pay thus y axes pay thus x so pachas right and x width and height x so pachas and x so pachas this is height and this is width right so this is set image uh, okay let's say button so I'll make a button right here and I will say click and I can say on click hey button on click what you got to do on click call the function set image as simple as anything right so now we're calling set image right here so I'll say click nothing happens right okay what time is it just 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 let we still have ample amount of time but what is happening why isn't the image coming okay uh, let me see the so oh my god i can clearly see that our image is inside imgs folder right we go inside imgs folder and then you can find this login log g right so we have to write imgs so now we can draw image on the canvas you can say imgs slash login log dot png so let's try again and here it comes now here's how you get image uh, in the canvas right and uh, the last but not the least you can even get it on load instead of having a button uh, what you can do is uh, get it on get it on body load now to get it on body load i'll delete this button so i can go to body I can say hey body on your load whenever you load the body please go and call this function set image as simple as simple as simple as anything now when you load you have the image inside the canvas now you can even try and do something over the image using circle right if i draw a circle i can draw i can use the image and draw a circle here I can use the image and draw a rectangle here. So it's going to be presented as a single image. So that's also mm, uh, possible. And that's the thing that we can uh, even do, right? So for that, you need to be attentive and you need to know what we need to do. And the third thing uh, that we are going to learn today is the following. But I have to check whether I'll be able to download because I have to see mm, bar graphs in uh, bar graph. How do you draw? draw bar graph in canvas so that's very important for example if you're handling analytics and you have to draw a graph or a bar chart to show users uh, or to show you users the visualization of data analytics so we can use that but for that we have to use our our graph dot common dot core dot js yeah the first thing i'll say the first thing that we will download is our graph dot common dot core dot js download yeah we can download it from here let's go and see what can we download from here download the latest version of our graph yeah i want to download so that's 5.24 so 5.24 2.7 mb among these crises is going to be asking mm, too much right isn't it they're asking me Oh, they're asking to download to my god 2.7 mb and amidst uh crisis of internet on 2g my live recording is on i'm uploading a lecture but still now my internet is working very well let me say that internet having this airtel connection has served a lot of purpose at times it works at times it's very slow at times it's nothing at times it's something but yeah still we are downloading 2.7 mb is a distant dream and thank you airtel for making our dream come true so now we have downloaded 2.7 mb at last all right 
congratulations and celebrations. Do not celebrate before downloading the full 2.7 MB and you'll have to be on halt. And I'll keep on talking and talking and talking till the time we download 2.7 GB. Not GB, my God, it's MB. Right then and then 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 downloaded one MB remaining. Thank you. Done. I'll open it. All right, so this R graph. So I can take this uh, libraries. So R graph common uh, core. So I have to take two files. I'll repeat R graph common core dot js and R graph bar dot js. These are two files. I repeat R graph common core dot js. R graph bar dot js are the two files that we are going to deal with. Uh, so let me go ahead and go to the HTML website and go to JavaScript, which is JS, and drag and drop. I repeat, R graph common code dot JS, and you'll see both the files here. These are the files: R graph dot bar dot JS and R graph common code dot JS. So I'll try and include both the files. Uh, right here so i'll have to copy them rename so that i do not misspell them while including now how do you get to include right how do you get to include this oh my god we don't even have a title our website is title less my god let me give it title bar chart all right so we can use this library tit and we can close down the title as simple as anything, isn't it? Right. Uh, so let's go inside the head section and say, how do you link JavaScript? I can say script type equals text slash JavaScript. Right. And H source. Source is going to be, I can browse the source if I want. All right. Uh, so in my case, or if you don't want to browse, you can directly go and type JS, right? Why did I even make this new folder? No idea. So get idea. Right, idea is gone. Now idea is Vodafone. So we cannot get idea now. Alright. Okay. So where is desktop? Why did I lose my desktop? Mm, yeah. It's here inside js so the first file that i will include is r graph common core.js let's conclude and close this and the seven javascript file that i will be including for the graph is the following r graph so these are the two files that you have to incorporate and link now let's see whether the link is a success or it is not right click view the page source go uh, yeah it's included the second is also included right so since everything is included so i'll try and close go back to canvas so i'm sorry i'm not going to deal in image right now by no means so how do you how do you do this now right i have to get it right so i have to get it right at the first go no javascript required because they already included javascript files all right so now this is my canvas no just delete every single thing right here so let's just just delete every single thing let's keep plain body so this is my body on load nothing is going to happen and now i am set to do anything canvas right so i'm drawing canvas with a width of 500 pixels or 700 whatever it may be so with a height of doso pachas IDE, let's say test. ID is going to be test style as usual. Border one pixel solid black, maybe who knows, right? And let me close down this canvas, right? So, canvas is done. Who told you JavaScript is not required? So, script type is equal to text slash JavaScript and close it down go inside the script tags this is just to tell your browser that the section belongs to javascript right and even you can see uh, the following things right in javascript 
char set you can even type char set here if you want that's basically not required but yeah I just have to show you so you can say char set is equal to utf-8 right unicode convergence utf-8 if you want if you don't want not required all right let's create a bar so this is called as bar all right is equal to new new of r you can straightforward c r g r you have included the file r graph it's case sensitive to r is capital g is capital dot b a r right so i'm using r graph dot bar and where do you want to draw this bar i'll take the id of the canvas that is test I want to draw my bar here, right? Test and it is going to take another arguments. It's as an array, x axis, y axis, right? Height and width. So I'll say height and width. And this portion, I suppose, is done, right? So imagine that r dot, um, you know, this bar function of r graph that we have included here takes two parameter. One, the ID of the canvas, right? And a second, uh, an array of x axis, y axis, width, and height, right? Okay, let's carry on and go to next line, right? So I can say bar dot set, all right? So you have to set, right? Which chart do you want to use? There are many, many charts, so I can use a gutter chart. You can Google for different charts. So this is gutter and I'm going to give it five, <coughs> all right, the total density or the depth and bar dot set. Now, so I can use what are the chart colors? You're drawing a chart. So I can use chart dash color, C-O-L-O-R-S. You can supply an array of colors, different colors, but yeah, let's supply red only. For the for the time being, we'll supply only one, and then we can supply an array of colors, right? And bar dot set. What is the title of the bar? So I can say the name is chart dot -E -I, -E. I want to give this a title. For example, it's a COVID nineteen report so title is covid 19 report it's a key and a value pair what is the gutter all right five you are going to use type five chart or uh, what is the color red what is the title it's called set takes two things key and a value key is color red title is covid 19 report so or case key and a value means question and answer question and answer question and answer right after bar dot set i can say bar dot set now what are the x axis and y axis labels known as right so you can say chart dot set oh, what is chart dot set bar dot set chart C -H -A -R, chart dot labels so what are the labels that I am going to use so I'll say I will be using let's say about 10 right maybe anything so you can change the label so 20 30 whatever use 10 20 30 40 let it be all right so now this is my chart and you can say bar dot draw that's it the bar is drawn get ready get set go and as expected nothing works at the first go for us right and why doesn't it work for the first go? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, might be some errors. We are prone to errors. Okay, my canvas is here. 500 ID is test. Okay, canvas has no problem at all. So maybe char set is going to do something. No, it's still not going to do. C-H-E-R-S-E-T. Char set. Character set. Okay. Where bar is equal to new R graph dot r is capital g is capital and the name is test we're drawing it on test 10 30 and yeah that's t 
बार डॉट से चार्ट सी एच ए आर टी जी यू डबल टी ई आर डॉट गथ राइट एंड वी आर सप्लाइंग फाइव सी एच ए आर टी ओके माय मिस्टेक चार्ट एंड ओ माय गॉड चार व्हाट इज चार चार डॉट कलर्स एंड चार डॉट टाइटल सो मिस्टेक्स All over. Let's load it. Bismillah. Still not there. Still some like errors. Mm, a title is a title. Yes, it is title. COVID nineteen report. Color is red. Absolutely no problem. Chart dot c h a r t. Label l a b e l s l a b e l s ten twenty thirty forty. That's absolutely no problem. Bar dot draw. D is capital. Draw is the method. It takes D as capital. Sorry. Case and to D draw method का capital. Okay, we are we are just rectifying errors one by one. I don't know how many. Oh, we have multiple errors. Who knows? All right, so let's see. C H A R T chart. What error do we have here? Got a C O L O. R S colors, red. Chart dot titles. Anything title can be anything, so I don't mind. Chart C H A R T chart. Dot labels. Ten comma twenty comma thirty comma forty. Bar dot draw and I close down my script right here. I have no idea. Something is wrong here. Maybe I'll have to see whether JavaScript is included. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, JavaScript is included. Do we have the method? What method do we call bar? R graph dot bar. What is the bar? Is there a method bar? Yeah, bar is there. All right, then fine. Common dot core is working. R graph dot bar is working. Everything is working. Except from my bar, every everything, 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 everything works. Now give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. All right, I got the mistake. So what is happening right here is uh, nothing is getting loaded because आप देखोगे यहाँ पर set basically is capital S is capital. It's K sensitive bar dot set. It's K sensitive set is actually Capital. So that was the mistake. That's all what the mistake was, right? Mm, I load it now. Now you can see the chart has been loaded. So this is the COVID nineteen report, and these are the labels. Now what do you call by labels? Let me clearly see: six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. Now ten, twenty, thirty, forty. You are going till forty, right? So it's already been divided till forty. Uh, no, no. Uh, basically, uh, labels are these: ten, twenty, thirty, and forty on the bar chart, right? And if I say gutter five, so you have to use one, two, three, four, five gutter. I can even use nine. So let's see nine. So right. Uh, so I can go till nine here. But the, since I have basically only twenty available right here, so mm, uh, we can even use gutter till nine, or I can even use multiple colors. Uh, like I can use red. I can use green. Right, so you can use red and green, but yeah, still I'll have to supply mm, dual gutters for that. Right, so dual gutters are not supplied. So let me only keep blue here. So you can do your experiments. So these experiments will be repeated and done once we learn Java, once we are getting data from the database, and this is going to be uh, more valid and this is going to be more secure after we uh, learn. Right, because you are going to forget it, but yeah, I'll have to show the do's and don'ts, and then you will learn it. By yourself, right? So this is ten, thirty, twenty, and ten. So ten, twenty, thirty, and forty. All right. So what is this R graph? Ten, thirty, twenty, and ten. What are you going to do here? This, these are the values that are being supplied, right? X axis, Y axis. So if I say not thirty, but I'll say twenty. Now let's see what happens. You can see now the uh, height has been increased right here. Even I can say ten percent, right? Now you can clearly see ten is here, twenty is here, thirty is here, thirty is ahead. But yeah, uh, you'll have to be proper here. Ten, twenty, right? So this is going to be twenty and thirty instead of thirty. 
let's use 30 here so that you can have the balance chart right so you can clearly see it's going to be 30 right and it's going to be 20 it's going to be 10 and it's going to be 40 and what is this 10 right here on the chart right you can see the first one all right the first one has to be on 10 right first one has to be 10 second one has to be 30 and these are the dynamic values for example these are dynamic values if i want them to be dynamic <laughs> i can take it from the text field or i can take it from the database all right i can say var val 1 is equal on to 10 so i can use this val i can use this val one here right so this is expected to be dynamic right here right so you can clearly see val one instead of val i'm sorry so this is expected to be database. This is coming from the database, right? Day one COVID report, day two, day three, day four, right? Let's say about on day one, we had 10. On day two, we had 50. On day three, we had 20, 30. And on day four, we had 20. So this can also be done. You can clearly see the bar is getting adjusted by itself, right? So let's see whether anything else is remaining in your slides. <coughs> All right, so let's start. We have seen all ID, width, height, and style of the canvas is seen already, right? And stroke is seen. What is this? Uh, line is seen. Circle is seen. Image, we have drawn the image, right? Just now that's seen. Uh, our graph is basically seen. And we have fill, stroke, light, and move. We have all seen. Uh, problem statement, which of the following method is used to draw the outline of the path on the canvas? We know that that's going to be stroke. Mm, right and every single thing yeah that's it that's it for the session uh, these were the remaining things regarding canvas so we are done with the canvas uh, we will be starting now uh, with uh, let me see we will be starting only one thing is left for tomorrow's class tomorrow is going to be your last class with me and day after tomorrow we are going to start with responsive web application design right but yeah we will not be starting immediately tomorrow we will be starting on Monday or Tuesday because uh, I'll have to take me a few more students in the batch, right, from Java, so they will finish in two or three classes. But meanwhile, I'll give you continued classes till the time they finish. So tomorrow's class is going to be about geolocations, inshallah. So I want you guys to practice very hard, right, and to basically do some experiments with this. What experiment can you do? I'll just show you something. So this can come from the input type text. That's absolutely right. Right? This can come from the input type text. These are the experiments which are required from you. I can say input type text, right? And I can say every single thing here is going to be in a function, right? It's going to be in a function canvas draw, right? So we'll keep everything in a function and the function is known as canvas draw. And I can say on on key press you are going to call this JavaScript function right canvas and draw right just to make it more valid you can say JavaScript so these are some experiments that you can try doing right and here what you can do right here you can say document dot <coughs> get element by id which is going to be input type text id is equal to text id or we can say text box whatever whatever it is text box one or you can say text box one right you can try and manipulate it i wish i had shown you how to connect database but you are still uh so you'll have to be patient patient so now nothing is going to come these experiments you can and do yourself so I can say one again pass hundred right so or we can say ten right so it's coming from it's it's now happening live right you can say ten it's not coming we'll have to say dot value right we forgot to mention this value now I can say get value here ten right or you can get hundred right or maybe ten who knows right uh, why didn't I get it? Maybe val one. Oh, let me alert it. What we are getting first? Alert is my favorite one. <laughs> right, experiment it so that we know what value we are getting. So I'll say ten. So we are not getting anything. 
If I say 10, I'm getting 1. If I say 10, I'm getting 10. So why didn't I do this? Hmm? Why it is happening? If I get it on runtime. Right, so let's not keep it on text box 1. So let's not keep it on key press. Let's keep it on blur. Let's keep it on blur. It's going to be most valid on blur. So let's say 10, blur out, we're getting 10, and you're getting 10. Maybe we'll have to convert it to integer, right? So maybe I will have, let's try converting, I-N-T-E-G-E-R, integer, no, P-A-R-S-E, so we have this parse, int, right? It converts whatever value you are taking, it's going to be converted to int, we don't want to alert, hey baby. Okay, final try, 10, blur out, yeah, 10 has come. 100, blur out, 100 has come, right? So 20, blur out, 20 has come. As simple as anything, so you can clearly see, right? So this is how it is going to work. We have to refresh it. We know that 10, yeah, it has come. So now you have to basically refresh it. If you want to uh, reset, you can reset, right? Uh, the canvas every time you call the canvas draw function, right? You can reset the canvas and you can reload the canvas again and again. Or you can reset the bar, right? So you can say bar dot draw or bar dot reset. So you can use these functions. Let me take a look at timings. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow with geolocations, inshallah. At the same time, same place. Bye-bye. Take care. Do remember me in your prayers.